Hi guys, and welcome back to Cue the Confetti. Today we're going to make some bee baths. We're gonna show you how to make some bee baths. Bee baths are super helpful for our friendly bees. You learned yesterday in our virtual field trip with Lolly and Pops, Gentry's grandparents, that bees are so important and we wanna keep them because they help us pollinate our yards and our gardens and help pollinate all the foods we eat. So we need to keep those and, guys around. And, and if you, if you like honey and tea, there would be no honey. There would be no honey, you're right. We like honey, don't we? So we're gonna show you some really easy ways for you to make a bee bath at home and you can stick it in your yard to help out the bees because they get thirsty, especially in the mm -hmm. summer. We're sitting outside in our front yard next to our rose bushes. We know bees like to pollinate roses. And, They're so fragrant. And, and, and we, and. Uh, you wanna tell them the secret a, right now? There, there's a, so there's a bush over there, and if you look down under it, you'll see a bunny. Yeah, there's a bunny sitting right next to us. We think it's a mama bunny with babies. She's protecting her babies. We'll have to I look can't, later. I can't. All right, Gentry, are you ready to make some bee baths? Mm hmm Oh, what's that on your dress? It's a bee. It's I, a bee. And I think it's thinking that that's his bee friend, and that's a real flower. Oh. Can you show us the bee? It's a pretend bee. You... Yeah, so I can pick it up from me. Bees' wings are flat, and that's why they cannot land on water. They have to crawl down to their water with their little feet. What animals have you seen land right on water when we're, like, in the pool? A wasp. Wasps and hornets, they all have angled wings that allow them to land right on the water and get a drink. So bees need safe places to get water because they get very thirsty. All right, Gentry, what do we need? What are some of the items we'll need for our bee bath? We'll need... So we're showing you different ways. So we have a bowl, a big one, and then we have a pot. And then we got some rocks. And this is another bowl. Yes, that we will use a bigger bowl. Today, what we're going to make our bee bath out of is actually this tray. Because shallow water is really what's best. As long as you allow something for the bee to stand on to get their water, you're doing good. So you can do marbles or rocks and floral stones. So you've got a tray and we're going to scatter some of these rocks all around the tray. Should we be scared of bees? No. What do you do if there's a bee that flies around you? Stand still. Pretend like there's a bee. And it bzz, 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 bzz. Oh, and you're drinking a sugary, nice little summer, like, snow cone. And it goes, and it lands right there. Gentry, what do you do? But obviously, Gen this is a fake one. Gentry's staying very, very still. Are you, are you going to flail your hands about and scream, bee, bee? No. No, you just stay really still. They're very tickly. Now, if you're allergic to bees... I wouldn't do this. Have your mom or dad help you, but let the bee get their drink and then they'll buzz fly off. And if you don't stay still, they, they will sting you and it will hurt. They might, they might. The only time bees sting is when they're very scared and they think that they're going to get hurt themselves. Yes. So. All right, are we done putting the rocks on? Okay, Gentry, now you're gonna carry and we're gonna put our bee bath right under the roses where the bees are getting their nectar we do is we're gonna pour some water in the tray but we're gonna make sure that we don't cover up all the rocks all right so we're gonna fill our tray up and we'll come out here and check on it every few days this is what it will look like when a bee lands on the rock it's done gets a little water and then flies off to its next destination 
And that's it. We did it. We made a bee bath. How easy is that? We hope you enjoyed today's activity and that you learned a little bit more about bees and that you don't have to be scared of them. We want to help them. We hope that you like and subscribe and share this with your friends. Please show us your creations by tagging us at Cue the Confetti Kalina on Instagram and Facebook. We hope that you celebrate today.